Hello and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George Clark and today I get to check out the amazing Fist of Legend released on 4K UHD Blu-ray by 88 Films. Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, ring the bell, and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. Well, this is extremely exciting, and yes, I'm a little late off the mark with it, but uh, I did pre-order this with CJ7 probably about a month ago, <laughs> and the day after I pre-ordered it, Idiot Films changed their dates of release. Um, now it has come a wee bit earlier than what they had changed it to initially but it still put quite a delay on things which was very very annoying because I was extremely excited to get this out to you as quick as possible. Uh, now I'm not really uh, <laughs> so keen after reading what they've included on here which is pretty much just a like for like copy of every other DVD or Blu-ray release of Fist of Legend since. Now for me of course the highlight is that this has been presented in 4K UHD which is just tremendous and that artwork from Sam Green is absolutely fucking stunning. Ab just absolutely gorgeous and that gold print, that text that is lifted off there in gold is stunning. I mean this is absolutely definitely for me one of the best covers they have put out there in a long time. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. So yes, very excited for this. Uh, and of course, as I say, that that ultimate upgrade to 4K. Now, when I first saw Fist of Legend, I, I did get it from the back of Impact Magazine, private collectors selling off bootleg copies. It was very, very dodgy, uh, a dodgy VHS that didn't last too long because I watched it so much and I burnt it out. Now, then in the mid 90s, made in Hong Kong, popped out this gorgeous rendition of it which I just loved so much. I wore that tape out also. This I picked up off eBay to replace that which I'm trying to do for nostalgic reasons. I'm trying to get all my Made in Hong Kong collection back as with my Hong Kong legends and so on. But yeah so this uh, then became my next level up let's say. <laughs> then I don't think Hong Kong Legends necessarily put it out there on DVD. I'm nearly sure they didn't from what I can remember. But Dragon Dynasty and Cine Asia did. So we have the Dragon Dynasty one uh, here, as you can see. And it has feature length audio commentary from Bay Logan. It has loads of interviews on there, which again, I feel is the same as what's carried on to uh, the Cine Asia one and then onto this 4K. But we will confirm that, I'm nearly sure. And I picked this up off eBay again, just trying to complete that Dragon Dynasty collection. So of course, Cine Asia got a lot of movies uh, in conjunction with Dragon Dynasty and released them here. So you can see it here on DVD and on Blu-ray, which was sent to me in the latest batch of fan mail. So again, carrying all the same extras there. But there we have four already, four uh, editions of Fist of Legend. <laughs> I mean, why? But of course, this has to be the ultimate one. And I, I think it is, absolutely. It just, without even getting stuck into it, this tops everything. Um, so I'm very, very excited for it. And I can't wait to get into it. Let me go through with you, though, uh, and read what is included here. Limited edition slipcase, booklet and poster, a brand new 4K remaster from the original negatives presented in ultra high definition, uh, 2160p in 1.851.1 aspect ratio. Presented in Dolby Vision high dynamic range, uh, high definition Blu-ray 1080p in 1.81.1 1 .1 aspect ratio. Also included Cantonese audio, alternate Cantonese audio, uh, optional English subtitles, audio commentary with Hong Kong film expert Frank Jang. That'll be new, of course. Uh, a look at Fist of Legend. Interview with actor Chen Su Ho, interview with director Gordon Chan, interview with Yasuaki Karata, uh, karate seminar with Yasuaki Karata, deleted scenes, theatrical trailer, reversible sleeve featuring new artwork by Sam Green, and original poster. 
of course region free being uh 4k there um so yes very very excited and it does come with the standard blu-ray edition also there um but that's fantastic i mean most of those extra features uh that are listed there are what's on whoa jesus what's on the dragon dynasty and Cine asia releases um in terms of that one there the a look at fist of legend i think that that could possibly be nope a look, a look at fist of legend uh an interview uh with brett ratner and critic elvis mitchell so it's exactly the same i mean that for me is highly disappointing because the only thing that i've splashed out for here apart from sam's beautiful artwork is the 4k um release itself and an audio commentary from frank jane i was expecting a lot more but anyway let's get stuck into this gorgeous gorgeous piece and see what might change my mind about it <laughs> hopefully there will be a lot that changes my mind about this <gasps> wow i mean yes i i i again i'm not just dissing the fact that they've done it just the fact that the extra features uh are exactly the same that's kind of slightly disappointing for me anyway poster in there booklet in there uh double disc which is exciting let me just spin that round there so you have the 4k and the blu-ray both with uh two bits of different artwork from the front cover here as you can see that cover is just gorgeous i mean i can't get enough of it to be honest so i'm very excited to uh, get stuck in to the poster that's included here inside here of course sam's artwork as you can see and on the other side that strong uh original hong kong poster art that came out which i'm going to swap around uh as sam does have the slip there Woo, very nice very nice wow so red so bloody red um okay let me see so poster wise let's get this open first because this is an absolute beauty um oh wow i mean look at that that is just bloody gorgeous this will begin into the poster book alongside uh kung fu bobs and sean longmore's work because that is gorgeous unfortunately i don't have the wall space for them i mean that really has no impact when you see this kind of thing that's complete shite that's just beautiful i mean wow absolutely amazing had they released this in uk cinemas with this artwork back then i mean this film would have exploded and it wasn't a massive hit as far as i can remember i think it just kind of did okay it wasn't a massive hit but obviously it's become a huge fan favorite uh, ever since with the booklet here we have uh, on the front the hong kong artwork and on the back sam stuff there very inventive uh, idiot in just carrying that artwork over everything there uh, <laughs> let me get stuck into the booklet though uh, but the film itself is absolutely fantastic one of my all-time favorite Jet Li movies uh, I think he's amazing in it uh, Yumu Ping does look after the choreography so well uh, apart from a few a few wire shots that really kind of take you out of it I feel uh, I, I don't believe that there was a need for the wire work uh, included in this. Uh, there was so much genuine talent involved with Jet Li, Chin Su Ho, who's just incredible. Uh, the wonderful Yasuaki Karata, of course, and Billy Chow. And everyone else. Uh, Kenji Tan Tanagaki pops up in there as one of the, uh, the Japanese guys at the school. So there's so much genuine talent that I feel some of those little wire moments just really didn't need to happen but fantastic overall i mean for me it is definitely a five star hong kong movie it will be there uh always in my top 20 i would say uh i do talk about how it would be hard for me to refine any kind of top 10 or top 20 of hong kong movies but i feel that this would definitely be up there absolutely and sh for sure in my top 10 Jet Li movies for sure anyway that's all there is to share with you here i'm going to go check this out i will put it up against the um the city asia dragon dynasty blu-ray just to i'll watch that first for about 10 minutes let that quality sink in then pop this on and hope 
that it absolutely blows my mind. Um, anyway, I'll be right back to let you know what I think. So just back after checking out this gorgeous product from Idiot Films. I, I just can't get enough of this cover. Honestly, that gold print along with Sam Green's artwork is gorgeous. I mean, this is absolutely one of the most luxurious covers I've ever seen Idiot Films put out there. It is stunning. And of course, put on the menu here. This, I've got the Blu-ray in because my 4K player is inside. Um, the 4K itself, I mean, wow. The colors, I've never seen this movie look so beautiful the colors on it are absolutely stunning uh that 4k print was beautiful i don't think i'll ever go back to watching any of my other versions i don't need to go back to watch any of my other versions because this 4k print was just beautiful and that same restoration of course carries over to the blu-ray for the most part it is there um but that 4k gorgeous absolutely gorgeous uh the only extra feature on the 4k is the audio commentary with frank jang and it does come up like this it says play special features and setup so when you're on the 4k disc the special feature is only frank jang's audio commentary but when you also go into setup the options are the cantonese and english and so on uh and frank jang's audio commentary so really there was no need to have Frank James audio commentary as a special feature when it's in the setup. A bit of a waste, but anyway, small gripe. Uh, but yes, that's all that's on the 4K disc. And again, his audio commentary is fantastic to listen to. Very, very informative. Uh, some points made there that I have heard before on audio, uh, other audio commentaries. But again, that's just, uh, of course, general knowledge from over the years of how the movie was put together. But it is absolutely worth checking out and listening to. But the print itself was just friggin amazing absolutely gorgeous i've watched it twice uh since well, of course once with the film itself uh with its natural soundtrack and then with uh frank jang's audio commentary the blu-ray though um it's pretty much what you're getting with that cine asia or dragon dynasty blu-ray release uh you have the print and the restoration there of course uh which is different along with frank jang's audio commentary but then all those archival special features the look at Fist of Legend with Brett Ratner, uh, the interviews with all the actors, the Asuyaki Karate, uh, Karate Seminar, the trailers, deleted scenes, they're all what you get on those other discs uh, that have been released previously. But I mean, my God, absolutely for that cover alone, this is this was just beautiful, such an amazing pickup. I wish they had done something a wee bit more different, a wee bit more original or new special features to add to that. But for me, this, is gorgeous absolutely a double thumbs up super glad that it's in my collection this is so worth having if you're a fan of this movie or Jet Li out now from Idiot Films so thank you once again for watching another video here on Invincible Asia don't forget you can check out hundreds of others here on the channel you can also show your continued support by heading over to my new merch store or by checking out InvincibleAsia.com where you can read my full movie reviews and follow me on Instagram at InvincibleAsia. Until next time though, enjoy your Kung Fu and I will see you soon.